YouTube, long time no see. I decided to do a book review today. I have this book on my shelf since forever. I got this book once in a box with a lot of books. In that box were a lot of books from Nikki French. I've never heard of that writer before. Maybe I saw her on bookshelves someplace and I was like, don't know, don't care. But I got five of these books, five different books of Nikki French of course. And there were books in that box that I really wanted to read. So I started reading them and I decided if I've read those, then I will start with Nikki French. And you know how it goes when you love reading and you have little time. It was, oh, a new book. Let's read this first and that first. And I have to reread this book because it's good. And so this book was on my shelf for, I guess, three or four years. I didn't read it. But last night I was bored and I wanted to read a book. But my weeks is gonna be crazy busy. So I decided that I needed a quick read. This was the book I chose. The book is from Nikki French. And the title is Verlies. This book was written especially for the month van het spannende boek in 2002. The month van het boek, spannende boek roughly translates to the month of the tense book. So all thrillers and stuff. I searched on the internet thinking that I could find the English title because they write in English normally, but I couldn't. And that could be because this book was specially written for the man van het span in the book. So maybe it's only written for Dutch people. I don't know. The book uh, portrays a family who just lost their five-year-old son. Uh, they're on a vacation and the kid drowns in the pool. So mom, dad and the 10 year old other son, they have to deal with the loss of their kid and their brother. The first thing you notice is that the woman is trying to keep her house together, trying to make sure that her husband goes to work and her son goes to school and then she starts cleaning like a freak. She doesn't have a job, she stopped working because uh, she wanted to be a house mom as long as the kids were home and she would start being a teacher again after both the kids were going to school. So that would be a few months later if the kid didn't die. But she, when everyone's gone, she starts cleaning. The first thing she cleans is the room of her late son Rory. Well, uh, her husband didn't like that so much. So the parents are struggling both on their own ways. Dad starts drinking a lot, working late, and mom decides to help him and search professional help for him. Their other kid, Max, who's 10 years old, is becoming a little rebel at school. And you, when you read the book, you know that it's not his normal behavior. In the blurb, you read that uh, Nikki French, that they're a couple writing uh, literally thrillers together. So reading that, you already know something tense is going to happen. And after that, yeah, you read uh, what the book's about. And it says that mom and dad are going to have suspicion to one another. In the book, you'll notice mom gets no suspicion by herself, but someone, and I'm not going to reveal who that is, is giving her a hint, like, I'm not sure if your husband is innocent. So someone planted that seed in her head and it starts growing and she tries not to spend too much attention to it because yeah, they've been married for a long time and she doesn't want to, to think that her husband killed their son. But he is driving away from her faster and faster. They don't talk, they don't share feelings or emotions. And the, book's really, the book really gives you the suspicion that the husband did it. But I had a feeling when I read the blurb and 
that feeling was correct and I'm not going to say if the husband did it. I read it and I was like, I think this is going to happen. But the book just set me on a wrong path for the first 10 chapters and I didn't believe in my own suspicion. In the 10th or 11th chapter, I was like, I think, I think I was right. But how? The last two chapters I think I read, I read and within 10 minutes it was super exciting, super tense, super revealing. The book only has 12 chapters so making me believe it was some, someone else for most of the time. Well, I love that. I really love that so it makes a good thriller. Even if you're like, he's the murderer and you start reading and you're like, I'm not sure. Then you know you're reading a good book, in my opinion. A good thriller. Not like if you're reading a romance. That wouldn't make any sense. The book Felice from Nikki French. I would give it 9 out of 10 stars. I really loved it. Mostly because it was really good written. It's really mysterious and you start making your own ideas in your head. And you only have like 2 hours. I've read this in 2 hours so... In two hours you have a lot of ideas and this is going to happen and no it doesn't and so you're really excited about this book. The reason I won't give 10 stars is because the main character doesn't have a job and I'm not against people who don't have jobs, absolutely not, but it makes it sometimes a bit of a slow read because you read everything she does to clean her kitchen. And I myself, I don't like cleaning, so reading about how other people's people take their glasses out of the cupboard, wipe it down, wash them off, I don't care. I know why they read it, because otherwise you won't have even a novella, but most of the reason I think they read it is because you know how extremely boring her life is. Knowing that she has only one kid to take care of after this. And knowing that she can't think about the death of her son. Like, was it an accident? Wasn't it an accident? She does all those things so she doesn't have to worry about that. I think you all also feel how lonely she gets by reading how she cleaned her kitchen. Simply because if you read this book you notice that she only has contact with friends after uh, the funeral two times and only her best friend and she can't open up to her so you really feel alone when you're reading this. I, re I really felt alone. The last two chapters I think are the best they gave me goosebumps. I was really shocked even though I was right in the beginning. But the way they revealed this, it was just amazing. So everyone who loves thin books because they don't have a lot of time to read. Or people who love a good thriller. I would highly recommend this book. I think it's amazing. It's really well written. And I'm really looking forward to read more of Nikki French. Because I'm really sad I let it stand on my bookshelf for so long, not reading it. It was, it was really amazing. If you have read this book, please leave a comment down below. Or if you know what this book, if this book is in English and what's the title of the book. Because I couldn't find it, but maybe you're better in searching than me. Could be. I'm trying to do more book reviews in the future. I know I haven't been active lately and I'm not going to promise like I will post every week, every month because I'm really busy in life. But I will try to do more book reviews in the future so if you want to see them don't forget to hit the subscribe button so you won't miss out on any of those. Thanks for, thank you all for watching and I hope you have a great day.